All automotive historical eyes are on Paris. Citroën is 100 years old. The car maker with the double chevron is as French as the Eiffel Tower. A highlight of the centennial activities is the car meet of the century on the La Fête Vidame test track. Over 5,000 Citroëns are here with their proud owners. This is mandatory to do it here because uh, since ever this play, this place has been the place where Citroën has tested prototypes, new cars. Uh, so when we decided to work on uh, a landmark in order to organize the centenary anniversary, there was no other option than going where the brand and many cars of the brand are born. That's why we've done it here in La Ferte Vidam. For driving and presenting their vintage cars, the entries keep it authentic right down to the mortaring duds. At the very start, André Citroën was little concerned with things like elegance. In 1922, he had the Citroën B2 Auto Chenille d'Or built and readied for the first crossing of the Sahara Desert by car. The aim was to prove the quality of Citroën vehicles to the world. The Scarabée d'Or went on to traverse Africa, passed through Beirut, and on to Beijing. We are making car for all, and it's exactly what André Citroën wanted to do when he created the brand in 1919. In this time, only rich people and happy fews were able to drive cars. So when André Citroën decided to, to set up his own company, he said, uh, I will manufacture in standards cars like Henry Ford has done. So he dropped the price of cars, but he said, it's not enough. It's not enough, so I need to create something more. So he basically decided to create a consumer loan company in 1921. And obviously it was uh, uh, very uh, uh, efficient to do so because uh, that's still valid today. And so La Ferté Vidame is by no means limited exclusively to pricey vintage Citroëns. Drivers with every sized budget are fascinated with the make. Like this XM fan. Damien Marchand bought his from a woman whose late father had owned it. It nearly broke her heart to part with it, but she just didn't have the means to maintain it. Tomorrow she's coming here to see it restored to its former glory. In 100 years, Citroën has turned out an incredible diversity of vehicles. What unites them is their grassroots appeal, with some models becoming automotive icons. One is the legendary Du Chevaux Tortoise, or Dolly, here as a 1990 model. Another is the compact Type H transporter that once ruled France's country roads. At the top of the high end is the SM, a Citroën with a Maserati engine. With its 220 kilometer an hour top speed, it was the swiftest front wheel drive volume produced car going. But it took lots of maintenance, and it still does. So what about getting parts? Citroën connoisseur Thomas Rulla explains that it isn't all that hard to find parts. Even if the mechanics are complex and involve many specially manufactured ones, everything about the engine came from Maserati in Italy, and those parts are getting scarce. The body sections, windows, and so on are also specific to the model. Other parts are similar to ones from the DS, like the transmission and many smaller parts. And the fan base and clubs in France and Germany are very well organized organized. Parts initiatives also exist in the United States because this model was exported there too. They're also well organized and parts can be obtained from them. A few dedicated clubs are now re-manufacturing parts. An advantage is that only one type of this car was ever built. There were manual and automatic versions and two engine performance levels, but this car was only built in a very limited number of variants. Einer, ähm, recht begrenzten Varianten gebaut worden. 
With fanciful ideas for the future and legendary models of the past, Citroën fans celebrated the bold, creative spirit of the French car maker for three days.